Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to find the best selling products this August 2021. These are going to be products that I'm going to rate or have already been rated by extracting a lot of data so we already know that they're going to be winning products, selling products before we add them to our store. So this is for anybody who already has a store and you want to um, import more products that you know are going to sell this month or it's for beginners who have never started a store before and they want to start selling with as little risk as possible so stay for the end of this video if you want to get the most out of it and find out what products to sell okay guys so the first thing i'm going to do is go on to shopify products and i'm going to look at what has been launched the most recently so let's take a look here so anything that's been uploaded recently is something that's new trending and is probably going to do really well um you can filter this by the best sellers the most popular um so the most recently sold can be quite an interesting one because um you know these are things that people are buying right now and then we can start looking for patterns between them so this is the most recently sold products but we can also look at the best sellers high to low and then we can also look at the newest first so these are products that have launched literally nine hours ago ten hours ago um so they're probably products that people have already researched and have just added to their store so what we could do is depending on the niche of our own store we could choose a few of these products and then analyze them so i'm going to go for the first item that i can see here that has been launched eight hours ago so you can either import this to your shopify store or you can view the product analytics so this is being sold in azerbaijan so there are always things that can kind of surprise you so here we can see the average supplier price we can see how many orders um this product has had so 3.9 thousand so it's obviously a popular product and we can see the total amount spent on this product, $17,000. Um, and the next thing that we can do is either filter the products by price. So these are all products on AliExpress. Or the other thing that I like to do is um, filter it by the amount of orders that the supplier has had. Right, so this one has had 33 orders. So let's take a look. So you can actually buy these for 17 pence and they are being sold for $8. So that's a really big markup. You don't really have much to lose selling this product. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. The other thing is if you want to look for something that's more within your niche, for example, let's go with dog clothes you have a pet store then you can use these filters again on um pets let's go where the best sellers high to low cool and then we can see for example these are the best sellers and um they have also been uploaded one month ago so i would love to analyze these products and see how they're doing so now we're analyzing this product, we can see the total orders that have been placed for this product. We can see how much has been spent on this product and we can also see the average supplier price. So we know that we are not being ripped off. Um, okay, so this is an AliExpress product we can see here and we can either sort the orders by price or as I said before, I like to look at the highest order volume. Um, we can see what Shopify products there are. We can see which stores are selling this product um, and we can download the images straight from sales source. So if we go onto the Shopify stores, for example, we would be able to see how much other people are selling this for 
um so if we go to a store with more traffic so eight dollars fifty nine now I'm going to show you how to use the sales source extension to its fullest by using it on AliExpress itself as well as on Shopify stores and on Shopify products. And now we have the Chrome extension set up, we are good to go. So the first thing I will show you is go to your favorite store um, and if you look down here at the bottom bar um, you'll be able to analyze this store and you'll be able to see how much money they're making each month, where their traffic is coming from, how much monthly traffic they're getting and how many products they have on their store. We can look at all of this in more detail, looking at timelines, we can look at what their best selling products are, what themes they're using and which apps they have in their store. We can also choose products to analyze, for example, these cool looking forks. Um, so they're selling them for £20. And if I analyze this product, they have had 1.8 thousand orders and $17,000 have been spent on it. Um, and the average supplier price is $6.79. So that is the markup, which is pretty amazing, to be honest. Then we can compare the suppliers either by price, so whoever's selling it for the best price, or what I would do is the amount of orders that they've had. Um, so these guys have had 558 orders, these guys have had 247, which means they will be a trusted supplier. We can see the amount of variations they have, the cost, and the shipping time so this actually takes just over two weeks to arrive which isn't bad and it's free shipping um cool so now we can see that this is the amount of money that you can buy these products for and you can sell them for 28 dollars so then if we want to get more data we can look here at the bottom bar where we can see the countries they're most popular in spain chile brazil a very uh south american theme going on here latina theme um and we can get a summary of when it's most popular and we can also look at the reviews uh which is really important we can even use these reviews for our in-store um, to show people how they'll be packaged and what they'll look like when they arrive. Another super cool thing that you can do when you're on AliExpress is if we hit this little arrow here, we are able to analyze the product, import it to Obelo. We can see the product summary. We can look at their reviews and we can also use these for our own products. We can compare suppliers um so we'll be able to see which suppliers are selling it for the cheapest and quickest and all of that and we can see the most popular countries that these are sold in thank you so so much for watching this and um i'd love to hear how you get on in the comments below if you uh, have any other videos that you'd like me to do if you have any questions you'd like me to answer make sure you drop those in the comments below as well and i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you and i will see you here next time